I have a new spider. This, which you can just see on the camera, is probably a baby Marpissa muscosa jumping spider. The reason why I have this is that I actually have a adult female jumping spider who appears to have mysteriously laid some eggs and this is one of her offspring. I say appears to and probably because she hasn't really seen a male for a while and as a result I'm not entirely sure where the eggs came from. Four of these spiders showed up in her enclosure and there are baby spiders and I can't think of any plausible explanation for them other than them being hers. So there you go. Marpissa muscosa are a species of European jumping spider. Uh, the mother, or at least probable mother, Ishtun, is uh, currently asleep in her enclosure after eating an extremely large fly. So uh, what you're seeing now is B-roll footage from a previous attempts to make a video on her. She's about a centimetre and a half long. She eats a fly roughly twice a week. She's local to where I live in Switzerland, coming from just down the road. I put out the uh, call to people at work saying that I was looking for a spider and someone has a house full. So there you are. Uh, jumping spiders are great little pets. I keep Ishtun, the female, in an enclosure on my desk where watching her kill things provide a great amount of solace during long, boring meetings. Anyway, back to the spiderling. This one has currently been living in this little pot for a little while and I want to upgrade it to a slightly better enclosure. In particular it's probably going to want to molt soon so uh, I'm going to want to get the humidity up. I did originally have four of these. I presumably Ishtun laid four eggs. One escaped. Uh, one sh showed up very small and lived about a week and died and uh, the other big one uh, just turned up dead the other day. This is kind of par for the course with baby spiders. They're not very well made. But uh, I want to be a little more careful with this one as it is the last, so we shall see. So all I'm really going to do is to put together a very simple little enclosure out of these pots, a piece of grass and some rough fabric that I happen to have lying around. So now I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up, so I will do a jump cut. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to end up with two of these cups uh, arranged like this with these lids between them glued together. The bottom one will contain a little bit of water uh, to keep the humidity up and also a window to the outside to let air in. Uh, and the top one will contain the spider. Uh, spiders do breathe. They actually have reasonably complex breathing apparatus. Most arthropods don't, but spiders have simple but workable lungs. Uh, they breathe through up to about four nostrils on the underside of their abdomen, which is effectively their stomach. Which is why spiders are very nervous of water, because all their nostrils are on the underside of their body. But we do want some ventilation, so I'm just cutting out a window from the side of this pot like so. And the way this is going to work is the two lids will be glued with hot glue like this with a window through them both and a piece of this fabric glued in between to let air and humidity through 
but not spiders. Okay, so let's cut a crude hole in the middle. Doesn't need to be particularly big. Like so. And then we do the same again. That's about a centimeter square. if these were actually square but never mind perfect they're even about the same shape which is slightly unusual okay so let's cut a smaller piece of this fabric this is a piece of uh, I think it's paper cloth which came from a rice bag but it should do fine for this. It's relatively porous. Okay. So, blob down some hot glue. Stick down the fabric, a bit more glue, and then the other side. Like so. All right, so we have one pot with a window. This is going to be the water side. And this is the actual habitat. So we take the grass and we cut it a little and this is going to be, this is just going to add a bit of interest to the environment for the spider. These Marpissa muscosa, they don't really have much in the way of a colloquial name. But I've seen them referred to as fence post jumpers. Actually seem to have a uh, interesting... Um, behavior in that if you give them stuff to do when they're a baby they actually grow bigger brains so they become more intelligent as an adult but I just want a little bit of space for the spider to crawl around and somewhere to make the little hide a sort of nest except they won't actually be formally nesting in it uh, where it will sleep. In this one, in this pot, you can actually see, possibly not on camera, I'll see what I can do with zoom and enhancement, but there's a little silk hammock up there which is where the spider lives. The spider is currently wandering around in some degree of uh, agitation because I'm moving its uh, enclosure around. Um, we, we will, by the way, not know whether it's a male or a female until much later on in its life. It will have to molt several times and grow. Okay, it's just... that's... That glue is hardened. I just want to try and get a bit of stray glue out. Hot glue is great for this stuff because it's easy to work with and is non-toxic. There we go, that's not really as robust as I would want it to be. And I wonder if the nozzle is big enough to get a blob down there. Yes, it should be. Okay. So what will probably happen is the spider uh, these are arboreal spiders. They live in trees and bushes. So it will 
climb to the top of the enclosure, which will be this way up, and it will probably settle down somewhere in the fork of the grass and build its hide there, which is why I put a forked piece of grass in. So now that is done, I am going to wait for the hot glue to set and put a little bit of water in here and we'll come back and actually see what the spider thinks of its new home. Okay, that is now cool, so we should be ready to go. So we have a pot full of water, well, a little bit of water, and we clip our stuck together lid on there. And now we want to transfer the spider, who is watching me with great interest, from this container to this container. Uh, jumping spiders are active hunters, they don't build webs. They will stalk their prey and they use a decent brain and two very good eyes to actually do the stalking. Uh, they also jump, hence the name. So I do need to be a bit careful that it doesn't try to get away. Like that. It has jumped off the lid onto my uh, workbench. But I have put that, the new enclosure, over the top of it so it can't get away. And I'll just wait a bit to see whether it uh, decides to climb up or not. OK, I let it be for a while and it has indeed climbed up to the top of the enclosure and is investigating. So now I just need to put this on here and just clip it down. And in fact, I believe that is not showing up on the camera, but it is wandering around the enclosure. It should just be reaching the top on this side. So it may show up. Yeah, you can see a little dot there, which I will attempt to zoom in on in editing. But yeah, that's it. So uh, I will go and place this somewhere where it won't get knocked over. Um, and leave it for t till tomorrow and then try and feed it. It eats fruit flies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments.